these are our little tips for dogs on boats. Good morning. Hi. Welcome back. Look, look, <laughs> movement. <laughs> don't, get too, don't get too excited though. Because yeah, we are moving slightly, but we're not going out, out, unfortunately. Mm. Still, um, the river conditions still aren't great, um, but it's been seven months since we did a pump out because <laughs> obviously we oh. now have our composting toilet um, and we just use our normal toilet now, our pump out toilet for sort of guests and on the odd occasion that maybe we can't be bothered with the faff of the I think composting. we did when we popped down for one night. Yeah, didn't we? yeah. So um, we are full and we need to pump out. So I think once in seven months isn't bad going. Not bad, is it? Not bad going at all. And um, we had um, somebody ask, um, what about having dogs on a boat? <laughs> so um, Neil Buster's come for a visit and we're hoping he's gonna play ball and uh, gonna show just what a good boy he is on a boat. We'll have a look. <laughs> So one little tip is you can see that we put a harness on Buster um, and that is because if he was to fall in, God forbid, then we could use a boat hook to get him <laughs> out, which sounds absolutely barbaric. Or if he's on his lead, we can lift him from we his We could lead. either lift him or if you can see, if Buster sits still, no he's not going to, there's a little bit here. Doop, doop which we could use a boat hook, couldn't we, Busty? No. Yeah, because he has actually fallen in once before, hasn't he? The river way. Yeah. He, he jumped out. It was dark, wasn't it? And he was yep. a bit impatient. He was a little bit of a naughty boy that day. Yeah. So he jumped out, landed on the bank, but the bank was like this, and he just went, ah, plop. And slid down. Yeah, that served him right. Yeah. He don't do it now, does he? No. <laughs> um, we're showing you with Buster because Buster's still got full agility, um, whereas uh, Bailey, bless him. Um, Bailey's a great boat dog. He's brilliant because he literally just goes to bed. As soon as the engine starts, so he I, gets oh, in his bed. I'm going to bed. Yeah. And he won't come up or try and come up until we've stopped. No, and bless him, he can't come up the stairs. No. So, you But know. he'll be at the bottom. Yeah. Um, we're hoping that Buster does what he normally does. <coughs> actually gone in, you, which he's is gone in. He's normally sat like out him. here with us. Um, it's when we come to stop, normally in a lock or anything like that, we just, uh, we've trained him to like, go inside Get and, in. and he goes in and then we just shut the two um, yeah. doors just so that he can't get into any trouble whilst we're in a lock. So Locks um, or more in. We're hoping to replicate that when we get to the pump out. But he's run away now. But he's run he? away. <laughs> <laughs> can't be bothered. No. It's too cold. <laughs> Signet, nearly all grown up, still just got a few little browny grey feathers on it. Buster, come on, in. Go, go, go. Good boy. Good boy, he did it. Alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm just enjoying my day of pumping. Poopy. <laughs> you love an old poopy pump, don't you? No. It's probably not even mine. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> I do believe. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much in the way of poopy, unless a visitor has done a poop.
and wait. Sit, stand. Hmm? Stand and wait. Stand and wait. Uh -huh. Wait for a little light, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Just in case you haven't seen it before, you put your token in. In there, that, and that will come on when it's ready. Oh, I'm not used to it, it's so wobbly. <laughs> so I've been out at sea. So, Dustin normally waits on the little step there, and he's not there, but I've just realised because I went through the boat, he's probably going to be waiting on the step on the bow by the bedroom, so I'm going to go and see if he's there. There he is! Hello! <laughs> Was she waiting for me? <laughs> Are you waiting for me? Did I do some magic and go down the other end? And this is pretty much what Bailey does when uh, when we move. Hi, Bailey. Either there, he likes it there, or his little bed over there. And that's Buster's little bed for when he comes to stay. Good boy, Buster. So we're given a little tip um, from some friends to watch the gauge. I can hear Richard through the window. Watch Hello. the gauge as it goes down. And then when you think it's got to empty, to actually flush the toilet. And apparently it sucks up a lot more. So we're going to give it that It pumps the water into the tank a lot harder. Oh, it pumps the water into the tank a lot harder, apparently. And gets anything off the bottom. Ah. But I don't really want to think about that. No. Um, so it's pretty much on empty. Should I flash it? Yeah. Yeah. Still work. <laughs> it does still work. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right then. <laughs> what is it about boaters and toilets? So Buster's now decided that he is going to be take part in the video. Um, the next thing we're going to show you for dogs is life jackets. So we don't put Buster's life jacket on like on no. this boat because to be honest he's quite well trained. He has his harness on if we're moving um, and basically it'd be quite difficult for him to fall off because um, there are lips all the way around both the bow and the stern but if we take him on the little boat then he has this so Richard lets him have a little sniff first he hates it <laughs> it doesn't really like it does it, it? doesn't like this one because he thinks we are going to throw him in because we did once to see if he floated didn't we <laughs> Yeah, we didn't throw him in, that's a bit <laughs> wicked. <laughs> but obviously we wanted to sort of like make sure it was all okay. Take this one off. Come here. Oh, so this one gets around here, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, because he's only little, he can't run away. 
And then this one goes under here. Like that. It's got two clips. Clip that on. And then your lead goes on that bit. Yeah, and then there is also a handle. So if well, he does fall there? in, mm. he, he does float because we tried it, didn't we? Yeah. It was yeah. nice and warm and it wasn't. Yeah, no. His little face. <laughs> yeah. But then he becomes a handbag dog. <laughs> And that, uh, the poor Buster. Being so if he did bus. fall in, yeah, you, you can just reach over, grab that. I mean, yeah. even if you grabbed it with the hook, look, you would yeah. pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a treat? <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's had this on because he's been on the paddleboard. Because so, of the paddleboard. Yeah. yeah. So on the paddleboard, he wears that. Doesn't he? And in the little boat, he wears that. In our little tender boat. Yeah, he goes in that one. Bailey yeah. doesn't go in that one. No, Bailey doesn't go in, well, he paddleboard. He doesn't go in the little boats. Either. Years yeah. ago, he would have. Yeah, but now. Not now. No. no he just goes to bed. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And they're going to, he's going <laughs> to get a treat now for, for being a good boy. Little nitty roll. There you go. Sit down. Good boy. I'm going to give one to Bailey too, but he's down there sleeping again. And as you can see, Buster is definitely ah treat motivated. And he tried to oh, yeah. hold the finger. And, oh, guy, I'll give one to Bailey now. So these are our little tips for dogs on boats. So make it a cosy, safe space. Make sure they've got. Their own little bed and their it's own bed. little place to go this to. This bed's here. Yep, so Buster knows he's got his little blankie on the sofa. Bailey's is down there <laughs> on his orthopedic bed. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled. So we would say um, get them used to the engine running because um, it's quite noisy when you start up that engine. So, I mean, we're really lucky because both Buster and Bailey are really chilled out on the boat. Yeah, they haven't they worried them at all. No, Buster's quite a hyperactive dog a lot of the time. <laughs> he's he's actually better struggle. on the boat than home. He is, yeah. He? So um, <laughs> maybe if you're introducing your dog to your boat for the first time, you know, run the engine and get used to get them used to the engine sound and mm. and, and what it's, it's just like. Just the vibrations through the yeah. boat, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's off. Are you off? You need to be a film star. <laughs> right. Get them used to a gangplank if you think you're going to use one. Um, with Bailey, obviously being an elderly dog, he wouldn't be able to use a gangplank anyway. No. And we have to more... I'll just pick him up. Yeah, somewhere where we can step on and off of the boat at the moment because, um, yeah, you have to carry him on and off, don't you? We've had the much? gangplank out at Cookham. And we I have. just walk up and down it with him. Yeah. It's not a problem. But that's about the only place on the Thames, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, but if you want them to sort of be able to get on and off with a gangplank, um, then get them used to that maybe before you even go out. You could just um, pop it out, couldn't you? There are yeah. some really good ones, actually. They're sort of like little ramp ones that you can get for dogs as well, which are better. I oh, know, they do pet ones, don't they? They do, yeah. They do pet ramps. <laughs> so you use them for getting in the back yeah, of the cars, Yeah, so you can use them in the car as well, yep. And they use them as gangplanks for dogs. Brilliant. He's Buster's off. off. Make sure they have a full water bowl so that if you're cruising for a period of time that um, they can always go and get a drink. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we do come in if we're cruising all day, we do come in and we do stop, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So we do stop and then take them out. And yeah, to make sure that they can have... Um, so they're not overheating inside. Toilet in breaks. Summer. Yeah, so we would say a harness, definitely. I mean, we even put their harnesses on when we're walking them around the marina, just in case they yeah. were to slip in, it's something to grab hold of because just trying to get hold of a dog without anything out. on, no, You'd would be really difficult. You'd have to get difficult. in and then get him out. Yeah. With the harness, you can lift him up and grab him and oik him. And then um, a life jacket is a really good idea as well. I mean, we did put Buster in his life jacket when we did our first few trips, didn't we? He always did, had his yeah. life jacket on. But to be honest, he doesn't, he doesn't need it. He does no, probably not, not in now. This one. But he would have his harness on. He's yeah. shaking. And then with, um, I mean, Bailey doesn't venture out on his own anyway because he can't manage the steps. But with <laughs> Buster, we've trained him with what we want him to do in a lock. So, um, you know, locks are dangerous places. So Buster knows when we get to a lock. Richard says like, in, in, and he just he normally just waits on the. 
He sits on the a step, The stern right? or the bow step, doesn't he? And yeah. waits for us to do our thing. And, um, and he's then back he's out. To come back out again. So, yeah, there are top six tips for dogs on boats. So, uh, we're not by any means dog trainers. <laughs> <laughs> we just happen to have two dogs. <laughs> so, that's just sort of things that we've um, encountered and what, um, you know, if we were watching this video, maybe some tips that we'd like for the first time. Yeah. Um, and it depends on your dog as well, I guess. We've just been lucky. We have been very lucky. Because we do see some crazy dogs <laughs> on the river. <laughs> we do. We? We've seen a dog jump off of a moving boat, haven't we? Narrow boat, whilst it was um, <sighs> exiting the lock. And then the guy had to jump off after him. So... Uh, that's um you know that's where we think making sure the dog is inside in a lock is possibly yeah. a better idea but you see them asleep on the back of the boats you see them asleep on the roofs don't yep. you even walking round and round the boats when they're yep. driving down the river and you're like oh my god <laughs> but, but yeah each to their own exactly <laughs> so hopefully um you enjoyed that little tips for doggies on boats yeah and like always give us a cheeky little like hit the subscribe button and ping that notification bell. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.